Hello and welcome back to Dark Reaper and Alfie playing Nico Power. In the last episode, <laughs> they got a cum all over their face. Still on there. Yeah. <laughs> Such a washing them. I already have my hands full with washing your hair. Instead of our stingy master, why don't I wash your hair as usual? Yeah, why don't you do that? I'm gonna pour water over you again. Close your eyes and mouth and hold your breath. Wow. Listen, you deliberately put it on my face. Meow, to my ears. Meow. <laughs> Please give chocolate a shower to a master. Okay, okay, you're up next. It was a lot of effort, but this kind of change of pace might have been good. As they carefully washed their hair, that thought crossed my mind. What for? Penis? Bother activate. I swear to God. <laughs> she can't get used to bars. She's not good with bars. Ellie, can I have some clothes on finally, please? Okay, looks like the sponge cake dough has a good consistency. I covered the bowl of dough with a plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator. It's not like we'll have a packed house on opening day, so this much dough should be enough. All that was left to be prepared for when the bakery actually opens. Okay, the only thing that still needs to be done is to cut up the fruit for the toppings and then I'm done. I stretched out and then looked at the clock. So the hour hand had already moved from 11 o'clock to midnight. Chocolate, vanilla, I'm always done so you two can go ahead and sleep first. You were totally right in the last one. This is gonna be we sleep together because you're our papa now. No shit, Sherlock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Aww, okay, maybe not. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's been a sleeping noise. I looked over my shoulder to see the two of them sleeping fitfully on the sofa. They leaned against each other, cosily, smiling as if the middle of a wonderful dream. And they said they'd be awake until they finished. They'd been full of activity since the morning, so they were probably exhausted. I crouched down and poked both of their cheeks. Mm, yes, welcome. Chocolate is blessed. Post a cake of chocolate. <laughs> Hurry up and bathe in the next cage. <laughs> Chocolate and vanilla were one step ahead, acting as waitresses in their dreams. It sounded like they were in a rush, as if La Solia was packed. They really are still children, aren't they? They're cute, like children, excited before the start of a trip. I gently rubbed them both on the hood, and the sweat, sweet smell of the leave-in hair treatment tickled my nose. Come on, you two. You can't sleep here, okay? You're going to bed. Yeah, you shouldn't touch chocolate while we're working, Master. This is. Not sexual harassment, Master. We can't do that to customers. Even I'm holding back. What are you two talking about? Did not look like they had any intention of waking up. Without any other choice, I picked them up one at a time and carried them to the bedroom. And then I sleep in beauty fucked them. This is massive. Ow, chocolate. You two really are a handful. I covered the two closely curled up cat girls with a blanket. Once more, I gently rubbed their heads before I quietly closed the bedroom door. Okay, just one last bit. Alone in the living room, I stretched out and took a deep breath. I need to work even harder tomorrow, for chocolate and vanilla's sake too. As I murmured the name of my precious family members, I stretched my hands out and continued my preparations. Chocolate, vanilla. Three way or wow. Okay, 
Achievement unlock. Preparing to open. Master, someone is approaching the bakery! Let's see is the hair! Is the fuck? Everyone in battle stances! Are you ready? It would be quicker to go forth and capture them. I'll do it well, so leave it to me. Wait, wait, it's only been five minutes since we've opened. The two of them hid by the windows of stalking prey. Even though we're finally open, there are unsurprisingly no customers waiting to come in. I placed my elbows on the counter while I gazed at the backs of the two cat girls. It's fine if you wait for the customers to come in before interacting with them. If you brace yourselves like that from the start, then you'll get tired quickly. Vanilla, look! That girl walking over there! She looks like someone who really likes sweets! Oh, sweets. But chocolate is not really a nice thing to say. You should be careful of saying that in front of the customers. Did you just call someone fat? Not that she can hear you. The two cat girls didn't so much as turn an ear in my direction. Well, to see them that hopeful for customers to pay me a bit as their owner. Well, since we just started, we should be patient. Excuse me? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Miss me, you're welcome! You're welcome! Uh, what's she said? Uh, what, what is going on? What would you like to be out there? Uh, uh, especially that, that thing! Um, that cake! We also have black tea. I'm um, the warm kind and the cold kind. Um, the whole kind and the, um, the cold kind. Could you two calm down? I pulled them back after they quickly set themselves upon the customer who just walked in. I'm terribly sorry for that. I'm the owner of this bakery, Minaduki. Our menu is over here. Please pursue it at your leisure. Hmm? Miss? Hmm. Taking the account the the location and use of color. This is quite a splendid storefront. This is so his sister, and he's doing like the the best, like under undercover voice forever. The introspective feels feel makes for a simple basis of design, while the knickknacks and such create a relaxing atmosphere. How wonderful! That's her middle finger that she is I, putting in our direction. Sh 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 there was an uncharacteristically large pair of glasses that didn't suit her face or build. Then there was her... Her, her army hat and everything else. Finally, there was her grandiose way of speaking, which did not much the f familiar voice. Uh, I've been taking a liking to this place. I shall buy every cake you have available. Now then, good sir, you may pack up all the cakes here. Ah, do you, you do take credit cards, yes? Uh, Shiguri, what are you doing? Ha ha ha, no. or Shiguri. High voice for this one, Sir, remember? you must have taken me for someone else. Oh, <laughs> say what you like, but that's your name. There's no way a young lass <laughs> such a pretty and earnest little sister to her brother, what it would be. Good grace, such a place, this what the fuck <laughs> presence of the. Very well, I will pay heed to such rudeness. There's no reason to put damper on your grand opening after all. In that case, could you cut the crazy routine? Besides, how did you even know where my bakery is? I didn't tell anyone. Uh, in any case, just scurry along and prepare all the cakes that you have. I will pay for your asking price quickly. What, now you're a robber? What rude that's you. <laughs> what rudeness to only show deference to certain customers. That attitude might chase away, say, a high class customer who'd come in every day at opening and buy you out. When it comes to business, you won't get anywhere if you don't jump at every opportunity to make money. Besides, to see Nisama give me such a cold look is making me sad. I'm sad. 
And after I held back until today to do something to help you, too. Ooh. Look, I'm not being picky here. Not only had she now burst into tears, but her facade was in shambles. I had no clue what to say. Facade, yeah. Ah, she. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shigure chan, it's been a while. How have you been? Shigure, what's with the outfit? Is that what people are wearing now? Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're mistaken. I'm not Shigure chan, you speak of. Oh, stop. Don't pull my cloak. Ah, oh, away. Ah. Orgasm. <laughs> wow, you're easy. Oh, oh, she's totally going for the boob in. I'll do this one. I guess. Yeah. What kind of voice should I do for her? I don't fucking know. Do you think she requires a high-pitched voice? Oh. Yo, it's been a few days, chocolate, vanilla. Sup? Maple, she's sexy. You gotta do it. Give her a sexy, sexy song at home. A, a sexy song, but yes. what the hell? Yeah. Oh, are those your uniforms? Aren't they cute? Talk about dressing to suit your body type. Nailed it. Oh my goodness. You can do this one. Look at her tits! Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> boing boing! I'm glad that you two are doing well. Holy <laughs> <be> cinnamon! <laughs> I got worried when you two suddenly disappeared. You know. I'll be this chick. She's fair. Yeah, we were really, really like no, no, not, worried. Not. What you? What you? Now you're being vanilla. Oh, how do you want me to voice her? What do you think? I don't know. She looks like my old fucking cat. How did your cat used to talk? Did she? Yeah. She she she, she went. <laughs> your legs are <laughs> spread. I don't know how you want me to do it. Should I just be like? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We were really really worried. You should have just told us you were going with Cash Homie somehow. I don't even know. I'm not good at voices. Sound like Cash Homie. <laughs> your turn. <laughs> Sorry, I was kind of spur of the moment thing. Yeah. If we can see each other again, then it's not a problem. I'm glad that everyone is doing well. She like perked up the tiniest bit to see them cat guess. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's you me. You high pitched seventeen year old, remember? High <laughs> pitched seventeen year old. I don't know. She's seventeen. She looks like she's got no tits. She must be twelve. Just do it! Feed the cock of the rabbit! Not so genius! Give me the best! The best, you say? Suddenly the bakery was at max capacity. Not to mention they were all family, an invited family at that. It's been a while, this amount of. I would love to see that you're doing well! As usual, Shigure smiled and greeted me with polite words. My little sister, as a rule, calm and cool cheers. There are times when she acts strange, though. It's only been a few days. How did you even find this place? I didn't tell you. That is the furthest question to ask your own little sister, Lisa Mark. Let's just say it was the power of a little sister's love! Look, I don't have time for that stuff right now. Can you stop insisting that this is not Shigure is being honest? Oopsie! Shigure placed a hand over her mouth. A piece of paper fell from her kimono to the ground. What is that? It's a wonderful business card. How like you need some more? Wait, I haven't even distributed these yet. As I said that, I suddenly realised something. This is your doing, isn't it, Vanilla? This was in exchange for us being allowed to go with you when you moved. It wasn't necessary evil. 
So when she disappeared at the drugstore the other day, she had slipped out to send the card to Shigiri, huh? That's why she said objective of Jude. And evaded my question. So earlier, when I couldn't get a hold of you, and chocolate and vanilla stolen anyway in the boxes, this was all part of your plan. Yes, that is absolutely correct. In other words, the chocolate and vanilla did nothing wrong. So if you are going to scold your bad little sister, I ask that you be firm yet kind. What do you mean firm yet kind? Sometimes I have no idea what my little sister is talking about. Well, she's always been like this, so I let her slide. Still, well, it was also wrong of me to move out without saying anything to you. I awkwardly scratched my cheek while looking away. She's been such a clingy, adoring little sister in the past that people even made fun of her for it. That is why I had to use such a roundabout, high-handed tactic. In a sense, she worried about me more than even chocolate and vanilla. That's why I didn't really feel like complaining. Nishimi! <laughs> it was Shikuri that has been rather worried about you. Nishima, I'm glad you are in good health. It's only been a few days and so nothing's really happened. Shigeri had a gallant smile on her face as I rubbed her head. She let out a small laugh and smiled. It must have felt as good as for her as it did for the cat girls. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, Kasia, why so reserved? I forgot what voice I did. Wow. <laughs> Shigeru's been uneasy these last few days, you know. Enough to forget about our food. Sexy. Oh, <laughs> listen, she was worried. Really worried. She'd just pace around her room in circles like an animal in a cage and sing. Lots of singing. Sighing. Sighing. I. Why is there G? Why is there G? G. <laughs> Fuck you, English. It. <laughs> it would have been better if you would just, at least, had told her. Uh, Your address. Thank you. Th <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you wanted to cut ties with us, but that would be something. Else entirely. Well, we know he did it, right? Just because he thought he had to call if he left by himself without telling anyone. Ah, probably, probably that. Human males are really troublesome, huh? The two of them deliberately raised their hands and grin grinned at me bitterly. Azuki and Maple were being a little too harsh, but even so, I didn't try to argue it. Sorry about that, Azuki and Maple. I already feel guilty enough as it is. So lay off, okay? Fuck. <laughs> oh. Ha 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 But as a chan and me chan, we're really worried too, you know. What the fuck? Why do I keep causing? <laughs> Shit. Okay. The two of them went hunting for Kashia san's name in Sugura Chan's computer and cell phone frantically. Oh. The two of them are very, aren't very honest despite being older. I forgot how I did that voice. But if it came to it, I was ready to go searching for you instead of Shigeru. Does she have to stand like that? Yeah. She really does. Look at that tail. She's just lifting up her breasts. Yeah. Cinnamon? Does she even have a bra on? Yeah. Cinnamon coconut, I'm sorry to have worried you guys too. It won't happen again, so please cut me some slack. Lowered my head towards cinnamon and coconut. Just like that, all the cowgirls in my family were assembled. I appreciated the warmth of having my family here right now. Shit. It won't let fa- what? It's- no, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I won't let father know about this, so please don't worry. Oh, I appreciate it. You've been through a lot too, sorry. If I was nothing... <laughs> <laughs> it will always come and visit you, Nisima. You will be cheering me on. She wrapped her small hands around my hand. She didn't say anything about me slipping out without telling anyone. She simply just forgave me. Even my little sister seems to have grown up well. Flawless at that. 
However, Mother is really worried about you, Nisama. <laughs> once things settle down, it would put her at ease if you'd call her at least once. Alright, I'll do that. Please kill them. Okay, let's pinky swear on it. We linked our pinky fingers together. When we were little, we always made promises with a pinky swear. Shiguri smiled like a mischievous child once we did this. It was rather cute. It was sort of looking forward to some gentle scolding from Nisa, mother. My wonderful little sister is so spoiled. Well, even so, she's still my little sister. Things always seem to go this way between us, so we didn't mind. But honestly, this is this fine and lovely bakery. What? <laughs> <laughs> struggle. I'm happy my beloved Nisama no longer has to hide his love of bacon. You and the cat girls have been helping to destroy all the evidence though. Hoo hoo! That's because when I do like the traditional candy our family makes, Nisama's cakes are number one in the world. Even though the thought of Nisama never returning home makes me sick with loneliness. I'm so sure many customers will come to show their love for the best bakery. What? She oh. said with a slightly troubled <laughs> smile. Shigori, chocolate and vanilla said the same things with the same smile. It would be nice if everything would go that smoothly. Just like before with chocolate and vanilla. I rubbed her head <laughs> and said the same thing I had told them. I don't remember what that was, but it was clearly something important. Wow, this is the first time I've seen the kitchen of a western style confirmation. Confectioner. I'm 12 damn you! <laughs> <laughs> it's not fitted out quite like the Miraduki's traditional candy making kitchen, is it? Shigeru seemed really intrigued as she looked around at the mixers, rollers, and other tools in the kitchen. There was a lot of similar equipment, of course, but there were minute differences. Nisama, this is where you make cakes, isn't it? No shit. <laughs> I prefer seeing Nisama in the traditional Japanese clothing, but I'm sure in your baker uniform will make girls' hearts sing too. Oh. What the fuck? Ah, if I could, I would install a live camera so I could watch my beloved Nisama 24 7 <laughs> My creeping god. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I'd be okay with that. Not that there was any way I'd be there baking for 24 hours straight. As usual, he... my little sister said some pretty questionable things. But I'm glad that both chocolate and vanilla are doing well. I had no doubt that you'd let them stay in these in my... <laughs> took the book on raising cat girls that had been left in the kitchen and giggled. I'm just learning, so there's still lots of stuff I don't understand. Once I'd read the book, I'd realised once again that my family's cat girls were particularly excellent. Apparently, the fact that they were fluent in their, our language and able to live comfortably with humans made them quite exceptional. The more I read, the more I realise how much of an education freak you are and just how well you raise them. It's all because of this strict upbringing mixed with love. It was for their sakes as well. She spoke like a mother closing her eyes and tapping her chest proudly. Although she was young, I could see that she was reliable and confident enough to raise six cat girls. Seeing the unexpected side of Shiguri made me proud to be her older brother. I will take responsibility and act as a good owner. Yes, I don't doubt that one bit, Nisama. But if you're going to get them working in this bakery, certain qualifications are necessary. Qualifications? Are you talking about a cooking certificate? Yeah, no, not that. He's alright, isn't that? <laughs> Regarding allowing cat girls to work independently as employees. A cat girl needs to have an independent action permit in terms of qualifications. Without that permit, a cat girl can be arrested by the police if they are out and about. Besides, they can't be employed without that permit. Working for free is a different story though. A permit, but her family's cat girls have never had one of those when they leave home, right? I tried to remember the times when our family's cat girls went out while under Shigeru's watch. I really didn't recall seeing any sort of permits. Yeah, <laughs> everyone always has it on them. Now then, Nishima, if you come this way... That's <laughs> Shigeru's Ari. OJ, we stepped out of the kitchen. Yeah, of course, on the tits. Mm. 
Wow, slippers is the permit. Gee. Shit. Sexy. <clears throat> well, cat girls don't carry anything except their bell. It's inconvenient to not be able to go out freely, so we kind of have to keep it on us. That means we were selected out of a bunch of cat girls. That is why we're different from all the cat girls. They said that the only one in ten cat girls passed. What? Okay. Okay. <laughs> the studying was so hard. I was totally fed up with it. Belonging to Shigeru Sama. It's totally me, but I don't remember what I don't give a shit. <laughs> we'll be an embarrassment to our master. Everyone proudly shook their bells. Ding a ling. Tits. Like, <laughs> I never knew the bell had that Tits are gonna fucking. Why the hell does the one on the fucking far left have her hands up? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just Shigeru's preference. Can be shown in place of a cat. Oh, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> High five for fucking that up. If it can be shown in the place of cat identification papers, so it's rather convenient. It allows them to enter buildings and events where pets aren't allowed. It also has a GPS feature so they won't get lost. The fuck? There shouldn't be any complaints if they work inside your store a bit. But if you intend to employ them officially, you should make sure they have the proper qualifications. I see, there's a lot to deal with when it comes to cat girls. As an owner, I'd better take everything Shiguru was teaching me to heart. I was just thinking it, it was about time to have Chocolate and Vanilla get their brows. So this might be the perfect timing. What? Oh. What? Right, chocolate, vanilla! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it can be... <laughs> if it can... <laughs> wow, that was terrible! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, um, if we can be of help to master, then we'll do our best. We really will. This way, oh. we'll be able to go out with everyone as lonely with our company. If Kilis Nishima and the owner you also need to assist them, okay? Yeah, just pampering them won't do them any good, right? Exactly! The only more valuable society will lead them to richer life. <laughs> Yay! When Chocola has a battle, Chocola wants to go to an amusement park with Master. Amusement parks are fine too, but I want to go to an aquarium. I want to sit there and look at all the fish behind the glass and press my nose against that. I want to see dolphins, penguins, and blue whales. There aren't any aquariums that have blue whales, though. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Shit. I was always left behind at home before I got my bell. So I know all too well what it's like to be lonely. I'll cheer for you too, so do your best and pass it in one shot. Chocolate, vanilla, look at my fongs. Oh, that's me. Yeah, yeah, that's why this big-headed Maine Coon is troublesome, right? It's not a matter of how many times it takes you to pass or what kind of bell you get. What is important is being proud of yourself and not acting so immature that you reveal your upbringing. If you do that, you might as well just go eat baby food. Ha. You felt the test twice yourself as okay, so there's, there's no reason to feel inferior about it. Ah, or could it be that you're at a disadvantage because you'll still be arms and my fongs? How did you say they're a trademark of a munchkin cat girl? You dumb brats are 20 million years too young to talk to a cat with me, me gobby fish. Wow. <coughs> 
I'm not gonna treat you like my senior just because you're a little bit older and I got fogs on. You want me to respect you? Jesus Christ, that's good, huh? Didn't give me a reason to. Shit. Hold up. Hi. Hold up. Hi, Tiki. This episode is 30 minutes long, I feel that's plenty. <laughs> Say bye. Say bye to Chocolat. Hey. Patrick isn't allowed! Calm down, you two! Okay, okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>